something that should have been a fun celebration had left Kansas City and the nation heartbroken. What a scene that was. Many of the witnesses we spoke to in Kansas City told us they thought they were hearing fireworks when the gunshots went off. Fans who gathered in the city with their families were forced to shift into panic mode. One hospital, Children's Mercy, is treating 12 patients from the rally. 11 are children. Nine of the 12 have gunshot wounds. At least one person we know was killed. Kansas City radio DJ Lisa Lopez Galvan. Three people were detained, and police are still trying to piece together what happened. Alex Perez, who attended the Super Bowl parade, is there for us on the scene in Kansas City. Good morning, Alex. Hey, good morning, Robin. You can see this is an active crime scene, and investigators are still here. Now, the rally had just ended. Players were exiting the stage when suddenly the terrifying chaos began. This morning, an investigation underway after a day of celebration turned deadly. Gunshots erupting in a crowd of nearly a million people outside Union Station in Kansas City. They're celebrating the Chiefs' Super Bowl win. Such a joyous moment for the city and the bringing everyone together, and then in a split second, it's all ruined. 21 people shot, one person killed. The ordeal unfolding Wednesday afternoon, just as the Chiefs' victory rally was ending. <laughs> Terrified fans running for their lives, jumping barriers. I was standing watching the stage, and the shots were fired, and then everybody just started running. All of a sudden, it sounded like fireworks, and we're like, oh, okay, and then my daughter yelled, get down, get down. Roughly 800 members of law enforcement were present, all rushing to the scene as police snipers scanned the crowd from rooftops. That fatal victim, identified as Kansas City radio host Lisa Lopez Galvan, a local DJ and mother of two. Today in Kansas City was a day to celebrate. We woke up this morning excited and the last thing we ever expected was to have a tragedy in our family. Her brother, Beto Lopez, talking to GMA overnight. This is another example of a real loving, real human whose life was taken tragically with a senseless act. Police detaining three people of interest and recovering at least one firearm. Right now we do not have a motive, um, but we are asking those who may potentially have any kind of information, a witness or video to contact police. And this morning, harrowing stories from brave bystanders, Paul Contreras and Trey Filter, seen in this video taking down a man believed to be a suspect as he fled the scene. I didn't hesitate, it was just, just do it. So I went to go tackle him and another gentleman did the same thing. The heroes restraining that person until officers arrived, this video capturing officers subduing him. I just feel we did what was the right thing, what we had to do. Among those shot, several children, some as young as six. The one word I would just use to describe what we saw and how they felt when they came to us was fear. The chiefs confirming no players or staff were injured. And the FBI is now working with local authorities on this, asking any bystanders who may have video of the incident to contact police. An exact motive remains under investigation. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.